subscribe to get notified of new videos. From the methods used for distance calculation in space, we have seen how the distance calculation is done with parallax and Cepheid variable stars method. The Gaia satellite, which was placed in orbit by ESA in 2013, measured the parallax angles with its precision equipment and made it possible to calculate the distances of the stars up to 32,600 light-years. Thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, the distance of the M100 galaxy, which is 56 million light-years away, can be calculated using the Cepheid variables. The third way we will mention in the distance calculation is, calculation of distance with standard candles using Type 1A supernova, SN1A. Compared to other methods, the difficult part of using supernovae is that it should be noticed within a certain period of time after the appearance of the supernova. Type 1A supernovae can easily be distinguished by light curves and by the presence of strong silicon absorption lines along with the absence of helium and hydrogen lines in the spectrum. However it occurs quite rare. The fact that Type 1A supernovae has a strong silicon absorption line in the spectrum is a sign of carbon-oxygen fusion. The fact that white dwarfs are composed of carbon and oxygen and not containing hydrogen helium means that the supernova signifies a white dwarf explosion. This supernova type seen in binary star systems. White dwarf increases the mass by stealing material from its companion. When the mass reaches a solar mass of 1.4, defined as the Chandrasekhar limit, the white dwarf explodes by becoming a fusion bomb. Since the explosion always occurs when it reaches the same mass, luminosity of supernova is same. Visible magnitude is inversely proportional to the square of the distance, directly proportional to the luminosity. The distance and the magnitude of the 10 parsecs, means that the absolute magnitude relation is as follows. If a type 1A supernova is observed at a distance where we can calculate its distance, the absolute magnitude can be calculated and the distance of the other type IA supernovae can be calculated. Thus the distance of galaxy where the supernova is observed can be calculated. The absolute magnitude of the Type 1A supernovae is about minus 19. Considering that the full moon is minus 12.5 magnitude and the sun is minus 26 magnitude, it would look almost as bright as the sun with minus 19 magnitude if a Type 1A supernova occurred at 32.6 light years distance. The distance ranges calculated for the some galaxies with the Cepheids and the distance ranges calculated with the SN1AR. The NGC 5253 galaxy. IC 4182 galaxy. Pinwheel Galaxy Messy Sixty Six Galaxy
Some other galaxies distances calculated by using SN1A. Cigar Galaxy NGC 4526 Galaxy NGC 3190 Galaxy NGC 1015 Galaxy Antenna Galaxies NGC 2207 Galaxy Type 1A supernovae are 10 billion times luminous than the Sun, and they can be seen 10 billion parsecs away. The far distant Type 1A supernova observed so far is a supernova called SNUDS-10 Will, which is a bit farther than 10 billion light years. Observed with the Hubble Space Telescope. Subscribe to get notified of new videos.